contour over 40. Do you need it? Well, today I'm going to show you who it's for, who it's not, where to contour, where to not, because remember, we are the look good close up club. So I got you and I'm glad you're here. Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am Michelle Spieler, an over 25 year professional makeup artist. More important, I am a 55 year old woman, so I have had to relearn how to do makeup on mature skin using all new techniques and different types of products. That's why I created the Mature Makeup Masterclass, a series of over 20 videos on mature technique using all products under the sun, all budgets. I priced it very low at only $57. And once you're in, you're in, you have it forever. Um, but it lives over on Teachable. So one thing I wanna say is be very careful when you sign up. Use the email that you always use because that's how you will always sign in, using your email. And you don't have to have a password. That's when women get locked out and they come to me with problems and I cannot help with any of that. It's just the platform I chose to house my videos, but I have no control over any of the teachable technology. So that's what I want you to be mindful of. Be very careful. If you do a password, write it down on your phone so you always know it. I don't think that you need a password though. And really pay attention to your email because women constantly, I'd say once or twice a week, a woman says, help, I've been locked out and I can't help you. So there you go. Okay, I'm feeling very rock and roll today. I've got my BC uh, CBGB on. Itchy today. We have a lot of pollen where we are. It's kind of a fun, um, kind of dark rock and roll eye. I have brown lashes on today. They're Ardell brown wispies. And I'm just, look at how pretty that is. Do you see how it's not, it's dark, but yet the tips are light and brown. And they're so feathery and they're so pretty. That is um, the wispies. Um, I realize areas of my face, you know, are bronzed and look deeper than my body, but I am going to put on a blazer. I'm taking my daughter and her friend ice skating tonight. So we're gonna contour today. I'm gonna teach you how to contour over 40, but really 45 is when I think we all really start to see our face hollowing out. We start to hollow out right here. You can actually see the indentation where my skull is. We start to hollow out in our cheeks. Our face starts to drop. We start to just hollow out under the eyes. So who is contour for? First and foremost, I am not here to tell you you need contour but I am seeing so many bad mistakes by women over 40 watching young influencers, young makeup artists in their 20s and 30s telling you how to do contour and it looks horrible. So right now I wanna show you two photos. Pay close attention because they're gonna go fast. One is Princess Kate. I think we can all agree she looked stunning at coronation. She was classy and beautiful. Her makeup, her hair, everything was exquisite. But from certain angles, she had terrible contour. So that's the first photo. The second photo is one my friend Leah sent me. It's just an, a woman like you and I out in an event, probably doing her face in, in the mirror, thinking she looked great with contour. But from the side, she looks ridiculous. And I'm not saying that to be mean. I'm trying to help you avoid really bad mistakes that I see daily on social media. Okay. So pay attention to those photos and I'll be right back. Okay. We're back. Let's start with the forehead. If you have a short forehead, someone like Valerie Bertinelli has a very short forehead. If you have a natural widow's peak, you will probably not ever need to contour your forehead. Now you can bronze. And what I've done today is I've done a little bit of bronzer around here to add a little more dimension. If you see my forehead, I'm a little bit darker up here and I'm lighter here in the middle to draw attention to the eyes. 
but it's very subtle. And if you look close up, it looks almost airbrushed. I don't want you to see a line where my cream foundation and bronzer come together. I want it to look very blended. I also have bronzer on my cheeks because that's where I normally get color when I go in the sun. Not that we do that anymore, right? Okay, so let's start with the forehead. If you are like me and you have a very long forehead, it's totally acceptable to contour. You want to take colors that have almost a cool or gray tone because that it, that resembles natural shadow. So I love these milk sticks. They sent them to me in January and I was so impressed. They glide on like butter, they blend like butter, and they stay put. I am using color Toasted, which is good for lighter or fair skins. You can see it's more taupey, cool. You also have colors Stoked, uh, Simmer, and then this beautiful Sizzle. There might even be one in between these two, but they're very inclusive and uh, they include all skin tones, okay? So we're gonna go up at the top Okay, but notice how I'm not going into this area where I hollow out because we don't wanna look like Skeletor, so we have to be very careful, okay? And I'm going to blend that in. I think I'm gonna use this. I lost my um, really special contour brush. Another thing I see women doing, and they don't notice it because in person it probably looks fine, but on social media you can always see is that you have to push it up into the hairline. You just have to, because otherwise you can see the light scalp, okay? So can you see that? I'm even gonna go a little bit closer. This brush feels kind of wet. Okay, and I'm going up into the hairline a little bit so that you can't see a light scalp, okay? So that is contouring the top of the forehead. If you are like me and have darker eyes and darker brows, you can go with deeper colors, but for everyone who's light, you can definitely use something like this. Now on the other side, I'm going to use um, a saint contour because many of you here um, also are here because of my saint. I do saint videos every Wednesday. I do traditional videos every Saturday, sorry. But there's not a lot of companies that make good contour. I think powder contour looks terrible on mature skin. And I think that's what you see possibly in those two photos I showed you. This color is called Olive. And the reason I like it is if you have fair skin, warm skin, you're a redhead, you're a ginger, you have rosacea, I really think you need a slightly warmer contour. Because if you put a gray, a grayish taupe tone on that type of skin, you're gonna really see it and it's not gonna look natural. Look at that, isn't that pretty? That almost looks better on me than this one. But we're gonna go with it. Okay, so I'm gonna, you can also take your bronzer brush or you could take a, cons or a foundation brush, okay? But do you see that beautiful dimension? And it just kind of shortens my forehead a little bit. And then keeping this light draws you into my eyes. Okay, let's talk cheeks. Many, many women hollow out in the cheeks as they get older. Contour is fabulous if you are holding some weight in your face. I contour women all the time who are older, who have fuller faces and they hold some weight in their face. If you are on the thinner side and you already have that natural shadow and this is starting to hollow out a little bit, do not contour your face just because you see young women doing it. You will again look like Skeletor. We're not gonna do that, okay? So what I'm gonna do over here, now you can see, do you see this? This is my natural shadow. So I do not contour on the daily, but I will contour for evening because I think it's very pretty. So watch what I'm gonna do. Wherever your brow kind of comes down, you really don't wanna go past that. And I'm gonna take it 
back to the hairline. You see that? So then from here, it looks like those model cheeks, okay? And then we're going to quickly blend real lightly. Don't press too hard. You're just kind of like tapping. You're just kind of tapping. And, and a good dense, you want your, con your contour brush to be very dense and narrow. So that's why this one by House Labs is great. And then I have the Detail Brush by Saint, which I can't find it. I've looked everywhere. I'm like, where did that go? Did I give that to someone? Okay, look at that. Look at that. That would be fierce in the evening. Okay. And again, go in to the hairline. We don't wanna see a white mark, okay? But do you see how that's kind of a cool tone? It almost resembles this gray back here. But look at that from the front. Now I have a fuller face. I always have. I'm very broad through the cheeks. So I can pull that off, not every woman can. On this side, I'm gonna take the olive and I'm gonna show you. You're also gonna see right now where women take it down and then go down here to, to look like they had their buckle fat removed and they're all like like hollowed out like all the supermodels. No, we don't do that as older women. Just ignore that, keep scrolling. The trends I see are so ridiculous. And then, you know, mature women are like, oh, okay, I'll try that. But you have to consider the source. Who is the person teaching you? I'm not saying young makeup artists can't teach us older women tricks. But how do they know an aging face? See, they think they do because I watch them. And you know what? When I was 20 and 30, I thought, oh, I can do mature faces. I'm a makeup artist. I can do anyone. Until you have mature skin and mature texture and mature hollowing of the face and mature sag, you will never truly understand what it's like to be a mature woman. That's why mature makeup artists like Mary Greenwell, Lisa Eldridge, um, uh, Gucci Westman, these are pioneers who have done, you know, celebrities and magazine covers for years. And now they're mature women and they, they do their makeup very differently. And it's very beautiful. So listen to women like that. Don't necessarily listen to the young woman. You see how I'm taking it back, okay? Now, do you see that? Now, this warmer color olive kind of blends in nicely with my bronzer, right? Whereas this one, you can really see more of a gray. So you get to decide what you like better. I think olive has really become my new favorite because if I wanted to wear it in the daytime, I could. See how I just blended that right into my bronzer? Look at that, isn't that pretty? And then you could also take a little bit of your foundation brush and just go under it to make sure it's really well blended. See that? Look at that. This is prettier. Maybe I would do that for nighttime if I was wearing a dark color, but this is very, very pretty, okay? So there you have it. Now, let's talk the nose. Not everyone needs their nose contoured. I love it because I have a broader bridge. And when I was younger, my tip of my nose was a little bit higher and I had this dent here and I had this cute little button nose. So I can actually recreate my nose shape with contouring and it still looks pretty close up. Remember, we're the look good close up club. Not everyone needs it. If you have a narrow nose, do not contour. If you have a longer nose, or like me, your nose is starting to like dip down because you know we're starting to, our cartilage and everything is starting to grow and sag as we get older, you can always contour the tip of your nose and it'll make it look shorter. So I'm gonna show you what I do every day. And with the nose, I do recommend a lighter contour for the nose. It's so important because remember, we wanna look good close up. So I always go under here because again, my nose is sagging, right? And I'm not gonna blend it yet. And then I take it out here. You see that? These, these blend so easily. And then 
I like a little bit on the bridge of my nose and I can just take like my finger and look, it created that little dip in my nose that I've always had. And then I can go Now, going into the eyebrow, I like to use a brush. So I'm gonna get a little brush for blending. Let's do, I just washed my brushes last night too. I'm gonna to do this kind of soft, fluffy brush. And I'm gonna go into the eyebrows. Okay. Now don't be scared yet. We're going to we're going to make it all work in a minute. Okay, and this one go up to See how that's making my nose look more narrow? I've always had a really wide nose. I really loved learning contouring um in the 90s when I first started makeup and I was in my mid 20s because I could really reshape my whole face. I had very round face. I was very skinny. I was maybe 115 pounds, but I had a really, really round face. And in picture, I always looked like maybe I was a heavier girl and then people would meet me in person and go, oh my gosh, you're so tiny. And that's because of my round face. It makes me look heavier which now that I'm older, I'm thrilled. I'm so thrilled that I have um, a full face because it, it does well when you age, it does real well. Okay, so do you see how now we don't see that? But look, there it is, and then we don't see it, and there it is. Good contouring should be almost hard to see. Now looking in the mirror with the naked eye right here, it looks like all natural shadows. Looking here, well, that looks pretty good too. You guys tell me, okay? And then anytime you do contouring, you want to take the tiniest bit of a highlight. You can take a pearly highlight if you want, but I'm going to take my light peach highlighter and watch this. I'm gonna go just right there on the nose and look at that. It makes my little nose tip look like it's kind of protruding out and then we can take a little bit down the center of the nose and there go, we made the nose look more a little bit more narrow. So play with it. I can't tell you how to contour your nose because everyone's nose is a completely different shape but it is fun and it really does change the shape of your nose, okay? Now, lastly, I always, always contour a mature woman under her chin and her jawline, especially for weddings, for photography, for headshots. It's very important. So watch what we're gonna do. We are gonna, we're not gonna go, I have a natural dent right here before this, and. Granted, I had surgery, right? So my gels are nothing like they were years ago or uh, months ago, but you follow the jaw back to the ear. Do you see that? And I'm like on the jaw, like I'm on the corner of the jaw. Now you can also go under it a little bit. And I really love to contour this one area on a woman. Okay, it really works and it really looks great in person, I promise. And women always appreciate it, especially if, you know, it's a special occasion and they're very self-conscious of their neck or jowls. It's just a really nice thing that I can do for women is to kind of shave off a little bit of weight. I don't want it on my chin because my chin already is pointy. Look at that. Look at that, okay? And then what I do is I care, you, you want, remember you want your jawline to stay kind of light and then I just blend it down the neck so that it just slowly kind of disappears and looks almost airbrushed, okay? 
beautiful. I'm going to do this color on this side, but normally I might not do olive because it's not shadowy enough. But if you, again, had rosacea or really warm skin, this olive is gorgeous. We also make a color with Saint called Shadow, which I think looks a lot more like this. And I started with Astoria, but I don't like Astoria as much. I'm really a fan of this olive because I feel like the olive looks so good. Take it down the neck a little bit. Okay. What do we think? I'm going to take a little bit of olive over here because I think I like the olive better. But in fairness, this stoked is a warmer, darker color than this, but I really like this light one on my nose. And what, did I tell you the name of this? This, this lighter one is called Toasted. I like it on my nose because I want it to look very light. Okay. What do we think? Contouring 101, there's your contouring. Some women even take a little bit, I'm gonna take a little bit here, and they'll take it kind of up a little bit, but again, no, don't do it. I don't like it. I just did it, and you know what? It made me look more Halloween. It, it look, but you see a lot of young women do this. They take their contour and they go up, they go up, they go up, and then they highlight under it. And, and you know what? You can do that on younger skin. But that instantly started making this side look more hollow and this side looks lighter. I want to tell you one more thing. This is a trick I also did when Milk sent me these incredible sticks. You can also take a little of a light color. It could be light concealer. I'm going to do this light peach, but you could totally take light concealer and watch this. We are going to lighten our little caving and skeletal area. We're going to lighten it. One thing that's nice about the light peach is for me, it takes care of these veins. Oh, yes. Look, do you see how now I look? I look like that's coming out instead of hollowing. God, makeup is incredible, isn't it? And if you get close up to me, it doesn't look like I have a big patch of light. And listen, you don't have to use Demi for this. I like Demi because it looks like skin, but you could completely use a light concealer. You just wanna go lighter than your skin tone and go in this area, not the whole area, but just where you're, You've got, are, look at that. It just popped it out. Now I look fuller up here. That is one of the best hacks for the hollowing out of the face, okay? So there we have it. So we have all of that done. And then as a bonus today, but wait, there's more. As a bonus, I want to show you where you can place your blush to just keep your face a little bit more lifted and snatched, as the younger women say. I kind of hate that word, but they all say it, so we'll, we'll go with it. Okay, I'm gonna take this little flat kabuki brush because it's dense, but you could use, I like dense brushes with creams, and I'm using this new Mob Beauty because it's this beautiful, like, peach with maybe the tiniest pink in it. It's number 117. It's brand new. It's their new spring blush. 117. And I'm going to take it right there above the contour. and it kind of lifts up the face. Now, if I brought it down here in my apple, it would be super cute. The problem is, is it'll make my cheek look lower. So by keeping it up here, and you can even take your brush that has a little bit of um, foundation on it 
and you can kind of blend that edge so it doesn't come in too much. But that's a nice fun trick too, is just to keep your blush on the top of your cheek, up into the temple. But look, we still have that light color in the temples to kind of give us volume. And then you can even take out even like a little bit. I love a little color on the nose, just a little bit. Okay, love that. I feel like this side looks prettier. Yeah, let's do. Oh yeah, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And then again, we can take a little bit of our foundation brush make sure that we blend all that out. Okay, fabulous. I'm not gonna wear a highlighter today because I've already got this gorgeous sheen on, but you could even add, uh, if you wanna add more volume to your cheeks, you could add a little bit of a highlight here. Um, I've already highlighted my nose with that light peach, but I just think my glow is gorgeous today, but you could definitely do a little bit of a highlighter. I mean, this is fun. It's really fun to contour your face and I really encourage you to play with it. You have to be your own guinea pig. You need to start trusting yourself. Play, practice, play, practice. Start trusting yourself. Start trusting your eyes. Start training your eye. You have to be your own guinea pig. I do my best to educate and give you tips and tricks, but my tips and tricks work generally, but there's always gonna be that exception to the rule where my tips and tricks aren't gonna work for you because maybe you have a super long, narrow nose and you don't know how to contour. Well, you wouldn't. Or maybe you have a short forehead or maybe you are hollowing out here, but you're listening to all the women telling you to wear contour go back to those photos look at those two photos i'll put them at the end of the video just so you can see them again we always want to look beautiful close up i don't use filters ever ever nowhere on social media nowhere on youtube i film right here on my iphone and i convert it right to my imovie app and i edit so rudimentary rudimentally i don't have any special editing skills. I don't have an editor. So there's zero, there's zero uh, filters. I just really want to look good close up. That's important to me. Yeah, this looks hella good. I'm loving this. I'm, I'm actually looking a little too cute to go to the ice rink. <sighs> but here we are. Okay. Thanks everyone. Um, I hope that helped. I also wanted to say one thing. Um, I talked about this in one of my SPF videos recently, and I'll do another SPF video before summer on a Saturday. I did, I think I did a SPF for Saint, but now I'm going to do SPF in general. This Naked Sundays, now they sent this to me, but I grabbed it one day because I was going on a walk and it held up so well. And it's so pretty. It It's let me show you. It just, it looks lightly tinted, but it's really not. But do you see how it's light? So what it does is it kind of like is a good skin sheet. It kind of lightens any of my pigmentation. Do you see the difference? It's slight, but like you can see more color and pigmentation here. And this it's like it blends it, it lightens it. So I put it on today and this morning I was like, oh my gosh, am I getting melasma? And I put this on and it just made my skin look fabulous. So I highly recommend this and it's great when you're outdoors. I'm taking this to the beach because I know it's gonna cover me. I'm gonna put it on every 90 minutes because I have spent way too much on this <laughs> face and all my skincare and all my devices and all my treatments. I gotta protect my skin. This is very, very impressive and I really love it. And I think you might too. Okay, next week, um, I think I'm gonna, for the whole week, I think we're gonna do a bronzy summer look. Some women have been asking me on my Wednesday night videos to please do a bronzy, bronzy summer look. And I thought, perfect, I'll do a bronzy summer look for Wednesday night using Saint and I'll do a bronzy summer look for next Saturday um, using, um, I don't know yet, maybe 
maybe drugstore. Physician's Formula just sent me a ton of stuff. So maybe I'll just use all drugstore next Saturday and we'll do a summer uh, a summer drugstore look for people on a budget. What do you think? Let me know if you like the drugstore idea in comments, okay? Thank you so much for being here. As always, I'm going to leave you with God loves you so much and so do I. And I will see you next Saturday. Bye for now.